Lupus is a highly complex disease that involves almost every organ in the body. This makes it difficult to tell when lupus is present until several symptoms have evolved and it makes it difficult even to tell when people are getting better because sometimes one thing gets better when another thing gets worse. Explaining lupus to someone is very difficult because you try to tell them your body's basically attacking itself and they don't understand. You know, in the United States, between one in 500 and one in 1,000 people are affected by lupus. Walking through a um, grocery store or walking to the car using a walker, people just stare at you. They can finally see something's wrong, but you also wonder if they're thinking, is there really something wrong with her? Because you can't see it. Our program ranks highly both in terms of the strength of the clinical program and our research program, so that really does make us one of the best programs in the country. At the University of Michigan, we take care of the sickest of the sick. We take care of patients who um, are too complicated or um, perhaps just can't find the right combination of experts to really uh, consider all angles of their complicated disease. When we see patients, we often expect to work with other specialties in uh, the care of the patient. All the doctors work together. I'm no longer taking medications that are counteracting each other, and that was a big problem was my doctors didn't talk. So where our research stands now is we've identified a few targets that seem to be very important in flipping that light switch between a patient being stable to being very sick. You know, we get to them very early in their life and there's a real opportunity to prevent complications that might happen 10 and 20 years down the road. One of the aspects of lupus that is very satisfying for physicians is that we get to see patients over a very long period of time. And so the thought that I can take a patient sample, we do experiments with it in the lab, and we make discoveries that may help that same patient down the road, I mean, that's what gets me up in the morning. That's why I do this research. I do what I do because I care passionately about my patients, and I want them to be better. And I feel that the only way to really get at the bottom of what is going on uh, with their illness is to really do that research and understand. Even though it's very hard work, I think it's the only way that we're ever gonna know for sure uh, and be able to prevent illness in our patients. It's just a crazy mystery that has to be solved. And if you solve it for lupus, you're probably gonna solve it for other things. Between the 1950s, when lupus was described as a fatal disease of young women, We've now reached the point where most lupus patients have at least 95% survival over 10 years and oftentimes better than that. We have people doing projects here whose ideas are more expansive than the size of their laboratories. Donor support makes a huge difference in advancing research. They're concerned about finding a solution and without the funding for the solution, there's no chance to do it. And they, I firmly believe that they will find a solution. Donations to our lupus research have made a unbelievable difference in the amount of creativity that we're allowed to put into our research. And we need to give our researchers more tools so that they can pursue their ideas and complete their research. The reason for going to U of M and the uh, lupus clinic is uh, for the patient care and the tries. They're always trying to find a way to make a difference for the patient. We develop very close relationships with patients and their families. They know me, they know my personal history and what I've been dealing with for the last 10 years. It just really is a different approach and I'm just happy that I'm here now.